Here's your Daily Sports Rush from Sports Knot for August 2nd, 2024. Welcome to the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Knot. I'm Scott Colbranson, and today we've got an American gold and the news you've all been waiting for. The NFL is back. Let's roll. First up, Simone Biles reclaims the top spot. The American gymnastics icon found herself trailing in third place during the Olympic all-around final. After a rare mistake on the uneven bars, Biles sat in a chair, closed her eyes, and refocused. The result? A stunning comeback. Biles delivered a flawless beam routine and a jaw-dropping floor exercise to clinch her second Olympic all-around title. She's now a two-time Olympic champion with six golds and nine medals in total. I've just been so stressed before, she said, but she made it look effortless. GOAT status is confirmed. Meanwhile, in the pool in Paris, Katie Ledecky continues her reign. Ledecky and the women's 4x200 meter freestyle relay team snag silver pushing her to a record 13 Olympic medals, the most by any female swimmer. And she's not done yet. Ledecky set an Olympic record in the 1500 meter freestyle and is gunning for more in the 800 meter freestyle. Talk about dominance in the water. Over to the gridiron, Brett Ripien shown bright for the Chicago Bears in a storm shortened Hall of Fame game against the Houston Texans. Ripien threw three touchdown passes, leading the Bears to a 21-17 victory before lightning and heavy rain halted the action in Canton. With a 72-yard drive in just 58 seconds, Rippin put the Bears ahead before the game was called off. A spectacular performance, even with Mother Nature cutting the show short. And lastly, a double dose of quarterback drama in the NFL. Seahawks' Geno Smith missed his second straight practice and is headed for further evaluation, including some scans. Meanwhile, the Chargers' Justin Herbert is dealing with a plantar fascia injury. Both teams are anxiously awaiting updates. Smith and Herbert's futures hang in the balance as their teams prep for the season. Herbert is expected to be back for week one versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Until then, he's in a boot. With both these quarterbacks out, the question is, will they bounce back? Stay tuned. All right, that's going to do it for the Sports Rush from Sports Dot. Do us a favor, make sure you subscribe to the Sports Dot YouTube channel. Also, for more on these stories, head up to sportsdot.com. Until Monday, have a great weekend.